I love this subject, Chinese horoscopes. It's one of my superstitions. Today is officially the beginning of the Chinese New Year and it's the start of the Year of the Dragon. It's considered a year of tremendous luck and everything from business to entertainment in China will see this year as the year of increased growth and profitable industries. How will that luck translate into global economics and Africa's relationship with China. We're now joined by Kevin Ho, who is general manager uh, for Lifestyle and Health Products, uh, the Lifestyle and Health Products distributor at Tian's Southern Africa. Kevin, thanks so much for your time. So the Year of the Dragon, um, an incredible year of good luck, an incredible year of good karma, because for the Chinese, the dragon is the most mystical, magical creature. Yes. So this is a good year then? I think it's a very, very good year because you know in Chinese tradition, this dragon means so many meanings. First of all, it's a power. The second one is elegance. But most important, that is a big fortune. I think right. it should be very, very important and very good and lucky year. So big fortune for who? Because you look at Europe, they're struggling with the recession, a slight recovery in the United States. We're even told that the Chinese economy is going to slow down. So really, is there going to be good fortune? As a whole, we can see the, some of the very important countries now they are facing the very big crisis. But for the African continent, we can see the African continent and the whole China, we have a growing relations in terms of economy, uh, politics, there's so many aspects. I think in the year 2012, we will have a stronger right. relationship. The dragon is regarded as the most powerful of all the 12 animals in the horoscope. And I know when I was in China, every house has a dragon symbol outside as a protector. Yeah. Who's going to be protected this year? Who's going to be powerful this year? I think the African countries can get more and more power from China. Because just now you have mentioned that is European countries now is facing the crisis. But as a, as a fact, that is currently in the year 2011, African countries already have a very stronger relationship with China mm -hmm. in terms of uh, trading so many things. So China obviously has now officially become the second largest economy in the world. Yep. They're very invested in uh, US treasuries. They're a major creditor. Are we going to see the rise of the Chinese dragon in terms of uh, international relations, its role at G20, its role at the United Nations? Yeah, China has to play a very important role. Yes, like you, you just mentioned. But I think we have to play more and more positive role. I think especially with the relationship with African countries. Currently, we have uh, many, many big investment projects in African countries. As per uh, statistics of last year, 2011, we have a figure that is our trading, our bilateral trading volume has over, I think, 150 billion US dollars. It is a very big figure already, yes. But it's a figure that benefits the Chinese. Many people always say, although trade with China has helped to increase exports to the East, the money makers here are the Chinese. So who's going to dominate the relationship? I don't think it's a fact. <laughs> I don't think it's a fact, actually, because you know, it is mutual, mutual benefit. On the basis of mutual ben benefit, first of all, we Chinese people come here. We give uh, so many the assistance to the African country in oh. terms of uh, infrastructure, mining project. But we do not like uh, how to say it, some some countries. They just uh, grab grab the resources from mm. those countries. Mm. But we try to people do all the things on a basic, equal, and mutual benefit basis. We even give the good trainings also for African people right. here. Yes. Are we going to see more Chinese investments? You say it's it's a good opportunity for the relationship to grow, but with China feeling inflation slowing down a little bit. Are we going to see more money coming through? That bilateral figure, yeah. 150 billion, is yeah. it going to grow to a much bigger number? I think so. I think this is a bilateral trading relation, not just uh, China exports some of the product to African countries. As a return African countries, we also can export some of the products and value added product to China as well. Yes. So what else can we expect in the year of the dragon? So we can expect good luck, good fortune, power. How's the elegance going to come through? Elegance, because you know the, this year is very, very special. Uh, uh -huh. We hope all the people can have uh, good luck and good fortune can be the best of the best of people. That means elegance. You know, I was born in the year of the snake. And yeah. I was told the snake is oh, very elegant. True. And that's next year. That's supposed to be the year of elegance. Oh, it's true. Oh, because you know, snake also very good sign. 
<laughs> snake means how to say very beautiful, oh. intelligent, oh. and very smart. Oh, I'd yeah. like to see you on the show more often. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time there, Kevin Ho who is with uh, Tian's just talking to us there about what we can expect in terms of good fortune in the Chinese year of the dragon that has officially begun.